Yeah, no ender. Oh yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's so sick. Oh no way, some jeers. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Reese Wallace here. Just flew in from Whistler and here for a few days in Kamloops to ride Sun Peaks. Uh, getting stoked to ride, but first kind of find a parking spot for my plane. Hey guys, welcome back for episode two of my backpack trip. This time with Reese Wallace, Canadian freerider. He's been to Rampage last year. And so yesterday we had a ton of fun in Sun Peaks doing laps on Steam Shovel, one of the sickest jump trail we've ever ridden. So today we're gonna see uh, what else is available on Sun Peaks. Okay, top of Steam Shovel. Steam Shovel is kind of uh, one of the main trails here in Sun Peaks. That's where all the locals told us to uh, go and ride. It's some fluid, big jumps. It's a single blind, but it's actually quite gnarly. Mm -hmm. So let's go and check it out. Sweet. Oh, it's pretty windy. So what I do enjoy is that the start is actually pretty, pretty mellow and that allows you to really uh, warm up for what's coming. Yeah, big bumps. Yeah. Can I cut the corner here? Yeah. Yeah, I like that trail, it's fun. Little connection here. Yeah. A bit deep. Oh yeah. Oh, it's super fun. Woo -hoo -hoo! So fun. Yeah. Oh, I had a ton of fun on that. Some of the jump, like, you can really lay your bike. And it's really good to work on your corner. Definitely have to look ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to think like some of the berm you can have flat pedals and really push into the berms. Yeah. Some of them are a bit flatter. You need to have your outside foot a bit low to get traction. It's a good combination. There's like long berms and there's like little short ones you can inside and just whap. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Yeah. It's definitely a good warm up to get your heart rate pumping a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, makes yeah. you feel out of shape, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming is uh, definitely a bit spicier, yeah. so awesome. Yeah. Whoa, that was that was pretty uh, outside. Yeah. And back onto the fire rod. Pretty dusty as you can see. So we are still on steam shovel. This is the second part. It's still a single black, but there is a sign advanced high speed jump trail. So this section is definitely gnarlier. It's faster and the jumps are bigger, more kicky. So pay attention. Sweet. Follow you. Hit him with it. Yeah. Yeah, big first step down. Pick up some speed here. Yeah, no ender. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's windy as you can tell. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, we did a massive no ender. A bit too windy for me. This section is a bit more downhill. Watch out, it's loose. Yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Up, it's 
scrub, berm. Oh, mine's those berms. Yes, cheers. There is. Jumping into that corner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, double. Double. Can I do a scrub? Yeah. Oh, so fun. Oh man, so windy. Yeah. Yeah, dude, this section is so sick. <laughs> Good job. <sighs> yeah, tire slide. Oh, ho, ho. big step up. Yeah, those bumps are really cool. Oh yeah, double. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Yeah. So fast here. Yeah. That section is pretty good, we can rest. It's a really long trail. Yeah. There's not many bike parks that have like a drum trail that long. No. It's probably twice as long as A1. At least. Yeah. And it's cheaper, so you got way more braking. It's sick, it's sick though, because it's like, there's not as much pumping as A1. Like, this one, every like the trail gives you more than enough speed for everything. Yeah, and so actually you have to be really good with your with your braking to like be able to slow down and mm -hmm. definitely you'll enjoy the trail more mm -hmm. if you're comfortable pumping and scrubbing for sure because it's important to yep. <laughs> you know there's a what we call like the point of non-return where when you committed for the jump you can no longer use your brake to it <laughs> no not and here. so it's really good to be able to scrub because if you go too fast you're dead you just scrub and if you go too slow you pop, so it's like really good skill to have. For sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. Flow's so nice. Watch out for this corner. Oh yeah. Riz is cooking on it. Yeah, a little bit of style. Nice step down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, so smooth. Yeah, manual. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, how's the steam running today? Oh, it's running super sweet. Yeah. It's just like really windy. Yeah. But yeah, it's super cool, man. Yeah, no, these ones are pretty funky in the wind. It's the last one, especially the one with like, the big table under the chair. That one tends to get caught pretty good by a side wind. So yeah. Well, nothing we can do but the wind, right? Yeah, you just gotta grip it and rip it kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have to, you just have to ride it smart and... Yeah, just hope it goes okay, I guess. Hope the wind doesn't change when you're in the air, that kind of thing, but... Sure. Yeah. It's actually, when you jump a bit sideways, yeah. it actually helps to yeah. break the wind a little. Yeah. Well, like if you straight line, 
because you're straight, then the wind can like pull you and you can't correct it. Yeah. Whereas if you go sideways, you have more like margin to correct. Yeah, I mean, I find I have more control if I'm doing something in the air anyway, because I'm thinking about what my arms and my legs For are sure. doing, rather than like dead sailor. Or whatnot, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, no, it runs pretty good. They're pretty steep, eh? Yeah, yeah, they're steep. Yeah. Steep, so Okay, some more of Steam Shovel. Yeah, this one is a bit short. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I tested it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So sick. Okay, I'm gonna quad that. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so fun. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Oh, I think I'm gonna flip that one. You want to flip that? Yeah. Go for it, I think. <laughs> You've been to Rampage, you know how to do flip. <laughs> So we got the step down, big step up, and Riss is gonna flip it. There he goes. Yeah! So smooth. Yeah, that jump looks absolutely perfect to backflip, but I really don't have the confidence to do that. I know I can backflip, and I used to backflip, but yeah, next time. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that was fun. That's such a fun jump. Dude, that flip was sick. Oh, thanks, <laughs> so smooth. Such I was like, one. could not be any better, I guess. <laughs> thanks, dude. Okay, should we uh, finish the run? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So we are almost at the bottom of Steam Shovel. Couple more corners. Yeah. Dude, my bike is so quiet. It's insane. If you want a quiet bike, you can use STFU bike and uh, use the code Remy15. Okay, we're almost at the bottom of the mountain. This is a jump park, different lines. Reese, I guess, is gonna take the dirt jumps, and me, I'm gonna go more for like the wooden features. Sweet. After you. Sweet. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to time it so I can see Reese doing his thing. Here he goes. Oh no way! Haha! <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna flip that. Hey, how are you? Good. Okay, and back onto the second, well, last section, I guess. Just some big bumps, lots of speed. Kind of like almost a BMX track, but going downhill. Yeah, a bit of steep. Oh, yeah. We got to go for the smoothest line. Oh no way, some deers! <laughs> that was crazy! Yeah, it is! Oh yeah! That's fun! <laughs> that was crazy! Oh yeah! I'm gonna go outside! Yeah! <laughs> So fun! <laughs> that lap was pretty crazy, dude. 
the flip, the deer, everything. Day two in Sun Peaks with Bruce Wallace. This time we're gonna do some uh, steep and yard. We're gonna start with Insanity One, and uh, I guess that's the trail that uh, the racer did during uh, the Crank Rocks downhill. So let's have a look. Couple jumps at the start. Coming into that blind step down. Oh no! It's fast. Line to the forest. And I try to get some different line. A bit an inside here. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Pretty fast. Yeah. Like racing on that would be scary. For sure. The top part, if you let go the brakes, like. <laughs> it's quick. I wonder what was the top speed during crankworks. Probably like 80. I'd say 69k. 69, yeah. yeah. True. I've never been ridden that track, so. Oh wow, that's steep. So the setup of uh, Riz on his DBO suspension is much steeper than mine because he's used to do more like free ride stuff, he spins drop. Oh yeah, I got that. So he needs to have a bike that's steeper than mine. Whereas mine is more of a downhill setup. Sweet. I let my brakes cool down. <laughs> you need some haze with some synthetic brake pads. <laughs> By the way guys, those brakes are absolutely unreal. You can find them on Jensen USA. Make sure to click the link in the description and that support my channel. Dude, if you know that trail. Yeah, for sure. I like well, all that stuff I didn't know. Well, we've never been riding that trail, but once you get it, yeah. once you know it, and you can let go the brakes, there's a bunch of like big lines. There's pretty some uh, decent sized gap you could do. For sure. Next year. Okay, we're back at it. Oh, a little gap here. Yeah. Yeah, so fun that corner. And that track is unreal. It's a proper downhill track, like. It's cheap, it's gnarly. Okay, on to sweet one. Yeah, little drops here and there. Pretty dusty. Definitely a bit steeper here. Oh yeah, those corners are cool. Inside line was a bit better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Hey guys. Yeah. Rear top on the on that stump. Oh, <laughs> inside line here. I'm not sure how I would feel about that wood when it's wet. So. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible line. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got to be careful on this one. It's also a double black trail, so it's meant to be a bit hard. Yeah. Ah, could have gaps that. Oh, 
Wow. Sun Peaks has put a lot of work on those trail. It's really cool to see that. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. That section is so fun, like, because yeah. it follows the river. It's really cool. On to the edge, high octane, both are single black, and we're gonna make our way to Smith's Tips, which is supposed to be a super steep trail, kind of like a riverbed, so, follow you. Oh, wow. Pretty naughty. We don't know the trail, so. Oh, it's pretty dusty behind. Oh. We just made our way to Smithy's Tips. It's supposed to be kind of a super steep toboggan. It's gonna be pretty dusty, but I think it's gonna be really fun. I heard a lot of uh, good stuff about the trail and I saw some videos. So. Sweet. I'm gonna try to hang on with the dust. It's gonna be pretty challenging. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, I can't stop right now. So, hopefully, Reese is riding that smooth. Oh, wow. Thank you guys. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good test for your brakes. That's so sick. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Took a different route here. Oh, that's sick! Yeah. I like that! Wow. Imagine if you got to race on that! <laughs> yeah, that is steep! It is really steep. Not lying. Very steep! I never get to ride trails like that on a bike park, really! Yeah, that's really steep! So there's nothing like that in a... Well, I guess like the closest I've ridden would be in Morzin. Mm. All those lomers of the map that are like really steep, you just lock your rear wheel and you just make your <laughs> way down skiing. Okay, and to finish that video, we're gonna end up with a blue trail. Normally, that's not how you start. You start with blue, you finish with a double black, but <laughs> we do things a little bit different. So Canada line is a blue trail. Seems to be pretty jumpy, so. Canada line. Canada line, yeah. So it should be a good fit for us. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Man, I love the blue trails here. Okay, we're back on the bike across. Thank you so much guys for watching that episode of the Sun Peaks Bike Park. I had a ton of fun riding my downhill bikes there. Speed, steep, big jumps, like absolutely everything I love about riding downhill. So thank you so much Sun Peaks and Mountain Bike BC. As always, if you want to support my channel, make sure to click in any of the link in the description. And right now I'm filming episode 3 of my bike park trip. This is Big White Bike Park. It's gonna be incredible, so I see you next week.